Are you thinking about replacing the shore power inlet on your trailer to one of the newer designs? Maybe a smart plug? Stay tuned and we're going to walk you through the steps that we've done on our trailer to replace ours. The first thing we're going to do is remove the old power inlet and on our escape trailer there are six screws that we're going to need to remove. Here's a look at what this looks like on the inside of the trailer. You can see the nuts on the back of those six screws. So screws are all out. Now we're going to cut around the silicone on the perimeter of the outlet. Before we're able to pull the receptacle up completely, we had to take the screws out of the front of the receptacle. There's three screws. And now we're going to have to unscrew the three wires, our neutral, our hot, and our ground wire. Now, one of the most challenging parts about this is that the housing for the receptacle has quite a bit of silicone around the perimeter and also either some glue or some silicone on the inside as well. So it's on there pretty well. So it's going to take a bit of time to get this off. And there we go with some light prying, it's off. And now we're going to need to clean this up. I'm going to use some Goo Gone and some elbow grease and clean this whole area up. In order to help this job along, we're using a hair blower just to heat up the surface and it'll make the uh, silicone a little bit easier to take off. So the surface is just about clean now. The Goo Gone worked really well along with uh, the hair blower to heat it up a little bit. And now we're just going to do one final cleaning with some alcohol. This is how the plug comes in the packaging. We got the combo kit so it comes with the trailer receptacle and this retrofits your old cord to the new system. Well, here's the trailer receptacle, the gasket. This goes on the old cord once you cut the other end off. And this will be the new end of your old cord. What I like is everything has gaskets. And what I like is when you close this, it's nice and secure. All right, so next we're gonna use the little backing template to figure out the exact positioning. And then that peels and sticks directly onto the trailer surface and creates a nice tight seal between the new receptacle and the trailer. We're doing a bit of a dry fit to make sure that it's going to be positioned correctly. And using the template it's time to drill some new holes. And in order to prep for the wiring, we need to take this cover off the back. There's a couple screws to pull off for that. So there's actually only a single screw that you need to take out and that's that middle screw to pull the cover off. These two screws on the bottom, you can pull those out just to make it easier to pass the wire through. So we're just going to pass all three wires through the cover. And the next step is pretty straightforward. The black connects with the black, the white with the white, and the green with your ground cable. And once all three cables are in, 
you use the Allen key that was provided to tighten them in there. Okay, so the wires are good and tight, so we're going to put the cover back on. There's the two screws to screw in first for the strain relief, and then the third screw to screw the cover in place. Alright, so now we're ready to slide the new receptacle into place and screw it in into the pilot holes that were drilled earlier. All right, so the one thing with these smart plugs is that you do need a different end. And you can buy the smart plug with this end kit. That means we need to take our old cable, we need to cut off the old twist lock, and replace it with the new smart plug. So we're going to do that next. So we've cut off the old twist lock, and now we're going to strip the wire back. And it does give you an exact measurement for how far to strip the wire back, which is convenient. The main housing is off, and now we're going to strip a portion off each wire. Alright, so they give you this cord install tool. Basically, it's a little plastic cone. You slide that over the end of your cable, and you lubricate it really well with dish soap, and then you push the cord through the end of the seal here until you've got enough slack over at the end here to do your wiring. And the same as we did on the trailer end, the black goes into the black, white in the white, and your ground cable goes into the green. In this case, there's green housing on the outside of our ground wire. All right, so each of the three wires has been put into the corresponding hole. And now we're going to tighten down the cable clamp on the main housing of the cable. You want to make sure that it does connect with the main housing of the cable and not the wires so that you have proper strain relief. All right, so we've pushed the outlet housing back in through the casing and now we're going to screw it in. And we're just about done. And then the final step is to put the seal on the end. There we go, and now it's time to test it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.